we know we get the alkyl group when we remove one hydrogen atom from the corresponding alkene so we have methane when we remove one hydrogen atom we get the methyl group that is ch3 when we remove one hydrogen atom from ethane we get the ethyl group that is c2h5 and one place is vacant for any group to be attached while naming the organic compounds the first step is to find the longest chain of carbon atoms that remains the same for all organic compounds so let's take an organic compound so we are given this compound so the first step is to find the longest carbon chain so let's count we have 1 2 3 4 so if we take this chain we get four carbon atoms if we take this chain let's count we get 1 2 3 4 again we get four carbon atoms let's take this chain now so we get 1 2 3 4 5 so in this chain we get five carbon atoms here we had four here we had four and in this chain we got five carbon atoms so which chain should we take we should take this chain since we are looking for the longest carbon chain so our longest carbon chain becomes this chain containing five carbon atoms so we know that the carbon atoms belonging to the longest chain are known as main chain carbon atoms the group attached to the main chain outside the main chain is known as a substituent now let's number the carbon atoms so if we number the carbon atoms from the left we get 1 2 3 4 5 5 the rule says we name the substituent according to the number of carbon atom at which it is present so this methyl group you can see ch4 is methane when we remove one hydrogen atom we get the corresponding alkyl group so in this case when we remove one hydrogen atom we get ch3 So the corresponding alkyl group for methane is the methyl group. So this CH3 is the methyl group and this is attached to carbon number 3. So the name for this substituent becomes 3 methyl. Now if we number the carbon chain from the opposite side, so right now we started from the left. If we start from the right, let's see what we get. we get 1 2 3 4 5 5 again our substituent is present at carbon number 3 so this gets the name 3 methyl so the naming of the substituents gives the prefix to the name of the compound so when we name the substituents that is 3 methyl in both the cases this is the prefix for the name of this organic compound let's take another organic compound this is our organic compound we have five carbon atoms and over here we have c2h5 group let's expand the c2h5 what will we get so when we expand this c2h5 we get we can write it as ch2 CH3 when nothing is written we know we can replace it by hydrogen atoms this C2H5 can be expanded as CH2 CH3 now nothing is written here so we can put hydrogen atoms in this case so this becomes C C C attached to a C2H5 group so this is also a C2H5 group and we have the same CH2 CH3 here so now when we number these you will observe in this case we get 1 2 3 4 5 5 in case you number this again as 1 2 3 4 5 5 but if you number this as 1 2 3 4 5 5 the longest chain remains the same that is the longest chain still consists of five carbon atoms in the first case the substituent is attached to the carbon number 3 so we get 3 ethyl in the second case the substituent is again attached to carbon number 3 we have only expanded the ethyl group so we get 3 ethyl in the third case if you expand this and say you take this as the longest chain so what do you observe still the substituent 
that is the ethyl group, it is still attached at carbon number 3. So the prefix still remains 3-ethyl. So instead of taking this as the longest chain, if you expand the ethyl group and take this as the longest chain, it still remains the same. Because our prefix, that is our substituent, is still attached to carbon number 3. So it does not make a difference. Let's take another organic compound. This is our organic compound. Our first step is to select the longest carbon chain. So in this case, we observe that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is our longest carbon chain. So if we number it from the left, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We name the substituent according to the position at which it is attached. So we observe that our methyl group is at position number 2. So it gets the prefix 2-methyl. Now what will happen if we start the numbering from the right? Let's observe. If we start naming it from the right or numbering it from the right, we get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now this time our methyl group is attached to carbon number 4. So it's not 2-methyl, this becomes 4-methyl. Now for the same organic compound, we cannot have two prefixes. This is 2-methyl. Since it is attached to carbon number 2 and this is 4-methyl, we cannot have two prefixes for the same organic compound. So what do we do? The rule given by IUPAC states we have to use the lowest number for the substituent. In this case, the substituent is getting number 2. In this case, the substituent is getting number 4. So according to IUPAC, the lowest number should be given to the substituent. So this is right and this is wrong. So in this, the prefix that should be used is 2-methyl. That is, the numbering should be started from the left. So again, this is correct and this is wrong for the same organic compound. So the rule given by IUPAC states that we have to give the lowest number to the substituent. Now we have an organic compound. What is the prefix of this organic compound? So let's start. Our first step remains the same. In this organic compound, we have to find the longest chain. So we observe that this is our longest chain. Now we have to number the longest chain. So let's start. We can number it either from the left or from the right. If we number this from the left, we get that our methyl group is attached at position number 3. So this becomes 3-methyl. If we number it from, our, from the right, we see that the methyl group is attached at position number 5. So this becomes 5-methyl. So now which one should be taken? We know the IUPAC states that the lowest number should be given to the substituent. So in this case, we see that it is getting number 3. In this case, it is getting number 5. So this is correct and this is wrong. Let's take another organic compound. This is our organic compound. We have to find the prefix. So first of all, let's select the longest carbon chain. So this is our longest carbon chain consisting of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 carbon atoms. Now if we have to number it, again we can number it from either side. That is, we can either start numbering from left or from right. So what do you observe in first case? In the first case, you observe that we have a methyl group at position number 3 and a methyl group at position number 6. So can we name this as 3-methyl and 6-methyl? One methyl group is attached to position number 3 and one methyl group is attached to position number 6. So you see 3-methyl, 6-methyl. So in order to avoid writing such the same substituent again and again, 
what we do is we use a prefix that is we can write this as 36 dimethyl since we have the same substituent which is present twice so there is no need to write it again and again instead this di over here it shows that we have two methyl groups one at position 3 and the other at position 6 Let's take this example. Uh, let's if we have started the numbering from right, what do we get? We see one methyl group is at position number two, and the other is at position number five. So we get two comma five dimethyl. Now in this case we have three comma six dimethyl. Here we have two comma five dimethyl. so between these two which one is right now again the rule of iupac holds that is we name or we give the number to the substituent which is lowest so if you observe in this case the first substituent is encountered at position 3 and in this case the first substituent is encountered at position 2 so if we have to give the lowest number to the substituent we give this number and not this so this is wrong and this is right so we always give the number to the substituent which is encountered first that is we give the lowest number to the substituent in this case we have two substituents so we look for the first number so the first number in this case is 3 and the first number in this case is 2 so we use this that is 2,5 dimethyl Now let's take another example. We have an organic compound. We have to find the prefix. Let's select the longest carbon chain. So this is our longest carbon chain. Let's start numbering. So we can number it either from the left or from the right. If we number it from the left, we have two, comma three, comma six. So these are the three positions. at which the three methyl groups are attached since now we have three methyl groups we use the prefix tri tri means three so we have 2 3 6 tri methyl in this case what do we get one the first methyl group is at position number 2 the second is at position number 5 and the third is at position number 6 now you see that in both the cases the first methyl group is encountered at position number 2 so now which one should we select well if the first position is the same move to the second position in this case you see that the second methyl group is encountered at position number 3 in this case it is encountered at position number 5 so the rule rule remains the same we give the lowest number to the substituent so we give this number so this is right and this is wrong so if the first number is the same we move to the second number let's take another example we have this organic compound our first step is to find the longest chain so this is a longest carbon chain consisting of five carbon atoms so we start numbering from this side because we see if we start numbering from the right 1 2 3 4 we'll get a substituent at position 4 but no we give the lowest number to the substituent so we start numbering from the left now you see both the methyl groups are at position number 2 only so how do we name this we use 2 1 methyl group is at position number 2 and the other methyl group is at or is also at position number 2 so we write two twice since we have two methyl groups we get dimethyl so we cannot skip one two so since both our methyl groups are position number 2 you cannot write two comma dimethyl that would be wrong because you have to specify the position of both the methyl groups so even if two methyl groups are pre present and the same position so we write 2 comma 2 dimethyl 
Now we are given an organic compound. What is the prefix of this organic compound? So let's take our organic compound. First step, find the longest carbon chain. Longest chain consists of 5 carbon atoms. So now we number our substituents. We see that the first substituents are at position 2 and 2 substituents are at position number 2. So we write 2 comma 2. Since all the substituents are the same, that is the same methyl group, we move to the second one. That is after these two, we have this. So this is at position number 3. And the fourth methyl group is also at position number 3. So from this we get 2 methyl groups are at position number 2 and 2 methyl groups are at position number 3. And this time we have 4 methyl groups. So what should be the prefix for 4? It is tetra. So di stands for 2. Tri is 3, tetra means 4. So in this case, we specify the number for each of the substituent. Since we have 4 methyl groups, so we get tetramethyl. So this is the prefix for this organic compound. Let's take another example. We are given this organic compound and we have to find the prefix of this organic compound. So the first step remains the same. We have to find the longest carbon chain. In this case, if we see, this is the longest carbon chain. Now, if we start the numbering from left, we get 1, 2. Two substituents are present at position number 2. If we start the numbering from right, we will get 1, 2, 3, 4. The first substituent will then be present at position number 4. So the rule says that we give the lowest number to the substituent. So we start, in this case, we start the numbering from the left hand side. So now, we have three substituents. The three are methyl groups. So the prefix becomes 2, 2. Since two methyl groups are present at position number 2 and one methyl group is present at position number 5. So it becomes 2, 2, 5 trimethyl. We use the prefix tri. As it shows, there are three methyl groups present in the organic compound. So for this organic compound, the prefix is 2,2,5-trimethyl. So always remember the rule that whenever we have substituents in an organic compound, we always give the lowest number to the substituent.